Hydrogen is a FOSS drum machine application that provides an intuitive interface for designing drum beats for any style of music. It's powerful enough to create some nice sounding drums for your song. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two ways to incorporate hydrogen into your Ardor workflow. One way that is very simple and easy to follow, and another way that is flexible but a bit harder to do. Let's begin. First, the easy way. You can export the drums as a .wav file from Hydrogen and import them into your Ardor session. After writing your drum pattern, navigate to Hydrogen's Project tab and click on the option labeled Export Song. You can also hit Ctrl E as a shortcut to open up the export window. In the export window, click on the Browse button and head to the directory where you want to save this drum beat. After selecting your export directory, pick a template from the drop-down menu that closely resembles the delivery specs for your Ardor session. If you have no idea what I just said, just pick the Wave Best Mixed Down Quality template, and our door will take care of downsampling it to your session specs. In our door, click on the Session button on the top left and find Import on the drop down menu. You can also open the Import Manager by hitting Ctrl I. Find the drum pattern that you explored from Hydrogen and select it. Before hitting Import, make sure Mapping is set to one track per file. This will create a new track for your audio sample. Now you have a drum beat from Hydrogen, imported inside your Ardor project. One of the benefits to using this method is that this is so far the simplest and quickest way to get drums over from Hydrogen into your Ardor session. You can also manipulate this drum sample like any other audio sample on Ardor. You can reverse it, slice it, pitch shift it, and do other things with the audio tools that Ardor provides to you. One of the drawbacks of this method is that you cannot change the drum pattern inside our door. You will need to do it in Hydrogen and re-export the changes from Hydrogen and re-import them into your Ardor session. Another drawback is that the session tempo must match in order for the drum sample to work without time stretching it. This section assumes that you already have jack set up with the necessary bridges needed for pulse audio. For this section, we are going to take advantage of Jack's transport system. This allows Jack-compatible applications to be synced up to one master timecode controlled by Jack itself. In order to access this functionality, you will need an application like QJack Control, Cadence, or in my case for this tutorial, Carla, installed on your system. Before we start syncing any Jack application with our door, let's make sure our door is using Jack for its external sync. Navigate to the Window button on the top bar and find Preferences in the drop-down menu. Then click Show, and the Preference window should appear. Select the Transport drop-down on the left side of the window, and a list of Transport Masters should appear to the right bottom third of the window. Click on the bubble next to Jack to select it. The bubble should be filled in to indicate your selection. Back in the Main Session window, at the top left next to the Playback Controls, click on the button labeled Init and it should turn green and read Jack. This means that Jack is now the sync reference for our door. If this button doesn't appear green or say Jack, check the Transport Masters list under your Ardor preferences. Otherwise, Ardor is ready to sync with Jack. For this demonstration, I'm using an older version of Hydrogen from the Ubuntu repositories. It's only old by one minor version. There's a newer version of Hydrogen on FlatHub, but I can't seem to get Jack to work correctly with Flatpaks so we will have to use a system package instead. Sorry, Silverblue users. In Hydrogen, go to Options and search for Preferences in the drop-down menu. Click on it, then go to the Audio System tab. Click on the drop-down menu and select Jack from the list. Click OK and restart Hydrogen, or restart the output. To the right of the tempo box, there should be two buttons labeled J Trans and J Master. Click on them to activate them if they are not activated already. The button should appear blue. Hydrogen is now ready. Make sure the tempo on Carla, Hydrogen, and Ardor match. When you press play on Carla's jack transport, Hydrogen and Ardor should start playing at the same time. If it does not, check to make sure that they're both synced to jack. In order to add drums directly from Hydrogen, you need to connect the Hydrogen audio output to an Ardor audio track. Create a new audio track in our door, go to Carla, and connect Hydrogen's two output channels to the new track's input. Set the track to record by pressing the red record button on it. 
Press the record button on the Ardor controls. Now, Ardor is ready to start recording. When you hit play, Ardor will now start recording. One of the benefits to using this method is that the drums are flexible. You can change them in hydrogen while you're working on the track in Ardor and play it back at the same time in order to see if it still works for your track or if you need to change the drum pattern a bit. This method is also useful for live performances of music. In case you have an Ardor session that you want to play your instruments on and record while having a drum machine on the side to play at the same time. One of the drawbacks to this method is that setup takes a lot more time compared to the simple one and done export of the hydrogen program. Another drawback to this method is that it relies on external sync and audio routing capabilities from the audio backend, which means this won't work outside of Jack. While our door and hydrogen offer different ways to be used while making a song, flexibility comes at the cost of simplicity. Both ways are still valid ways to use the program, you just need to decide which method best suits your workflow.